kanina mabatid usa ka Cebuana nga may pamatuod nga makabot ni Bisan Kinsa ang damgo sa kaaruhay sa kinabuhi kon mo desisyon kini nga mahitabo ang maong damgo. Atong paminawon ang iyang istorya. Yes, I'm a pure Cebuana. Um, actually, it, it's really a story to tell for everyone because um, I started as an ordinary clerk and um, I belong to a poor family. I used to live beside the creek of Barangay Mabolo. And um, I have experienced all those mga baha, no? And then, and then um, I worked for a company as a clerk, and but because of my, you know, hard work and determination, um, the the owner of the company recognized my effort and promoted me, and I became the manager. And then after that, um, I was already um, like. Um, you know, like one of those, I mean, there are many consultancy firms and recruitment agencies who would want to get my services, no, and pirate, tied to pirate me. Mm -hmm. And then after that, um, I realized that um, every time I am connected with a company, the company grows up, grows up and but then I, they ended up getting rich, no? Oh. Without, without still, oh yeah, with, with me still in the, um, anyway, so after that, um, I decided to have my own company because I, I felt that I was ready. Although I didn't have any resources, I didn't have money, I only had 10,000 pesos in my pocket at that time. So what I did, um, I talked to a friend and asked him if he can um, share with me his office, just a one room uh, office with one table, two chair um, set up. Mm -hmm. Then. I started the um, processing 10 to 15 clients that it became hundreds of clients and now it's thousands of clients that I was able to put up uh, 14 offices all over the Philippines and our company is not only here in the Philippines, I was able to spread my wings in the Middle East and Asia. You know? So that's why I have offices in United Arab Emirates, in Kuwait, Singapore, Malaysia and now we're targeting um, Qatar and Saudi Arabia. And of course, I'll be opening an office in New Zealand since we are now offering New Zealand to the, my fellow Philippines. Uh, um, being successful is a decision, actually. So you just have to decide and you just have to do it. And if there are struggles, challenges along the way, you'll just have to face it and eventually you'll be you'll you, you'll get into uh you, you you will be able to achieve that um goal or dream that you really want for you and for your family but then you expect some bumps along the way just but be ready for it. you just have to be ready my inspiration is um, of course, my children, because I have two um, little angels. I, I have two beautiful children, um, Aya and Nicole. They are my inspiration. But ever since I started working with a recruitment agency, I've really seen the, 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 the lives of Filipinos uh, who are very desperate to go out of the country. And every time they get their visas, it's, I, it's, very, it's a very overwhelming feeling. I, you will really see how happy they are, you know, and, and more than anything else, it's not really the money, but it's really um, the feeling that you have fulfilled somebody's dream. Yeah. It's, it's really um, a priceless um, experience. Mm. Yeah, you, because you're dealing with people. Yes. Mm. Okay. So if, like, you know, any advice, you're into consultancy, any advice for any families, professionals who... Yeah. Um, um, I would like to um, uh, invite everyone to uh, go to the website of uh, Pinoy Care Visa Center and also follow us on Facebook. Um, you will see there uh, the opportunities listed. Who knows one of your professions are one of the top categories for Canada or you will have the option to go to New Zealand. I encourage everyone to apply now while you are still qualified because immigration guidelines are not permanent. It can change at any time without warning. 
you may be qualified now but it's only the embassy who knows if you will still be qualified tomorrow so it is very important for you to apply immediately and they don't even have to sign up with Pinoy Care they can sign up with any consultancy firms that they are comfortable to be with but I will still give the same advice to apply now that you are still qualified